You know, one thing that that really struck me whenever I first came to college, I'd never seen anyone just walk a tightrope before. And if you don't know what I mean by that, in college, there's always like one or two people and they'll find two trees and they'll put up a rope <laughs> and then they'll just walk on it for a while. I've never seen anyone. It never occurred to me that anyone would ever do that. I was like, yeah, I guess some people do that in the circus sometimes, but they're like professional acrobats and everything. And I guess the way you become a professional acrobat is you first start out with two trees and a rope and you just walk. But I'd never, it had never occurred to me that someone could walk a tightrope before just on their own. Like it, it seemed like something that was passed down in your family to me. You know, it's like, well, my daddy was a tightrope walker. My brother was a tightrope walker. My uncle was a tightrope walker. My other uncle was a tightrope rope walker. My aunt married a tightrope walker. My brother is an amateur type rope walker. You know, it seemed like something that was in the family. But people just do type rope walking at, at college. It's, it's, a, it's the strangest phenomenon. Strangest phenomenon. Also, like, I didn't go to undergrad here, but I did hear stories about undergrad here. And there was this college I went to, and it had these two guys, Frisbee Dan and the Sun God. And the Frisbee Dan guy, and I feel like these are just legends that got passed down, like nobody knew these people, but Frisbee Dan got in a fight with the Sun God. Both of them got banned from the park where the river went through the campus. And Frisbee Dan used to like do Frisbee tricks all over the place. He like, he'd like Frisbee into the ground and it would like flip back to him and stuff. And he would like, he'd like Frisbee around a tree, you know, he'd like, he'd do like Frisbee trick shots where he'd where he'd throw the Frisbee and knock like a card out of someone's mouth or something like that. I don't know what Frisbee Dan did. But Frisbee Dan did this, and the sun god was like a guy that painted himself gold like Dennis on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And the sun god would have like a little stool, and he'd perch on it, and he'd do like yoga and stuff, and like sun god stuff, and he'd like, he'd like praise the sun. So anyway, Frisbee Dan, I guess, hit the sun god, knocked him off his worship pedestal one day, and, uh, you know... Because Frisbee Dan was a really good trick shotter, but he wasn't perfect. You know, every now and then one would go go astray. But maybe he was actually trying to hit the sun god because, you know. Well, anyway, they got in a fight. Cops came. Everyone was sitting around because at this college you could sit around well into December in this park because it was hot as fuck in this state. And, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, Frisbee Dan and the sun god fighting. Cops come. Everybody's watching. Everybody's like, what's going on? And Permaban, Permaban, Frisbee Dan, Frisbee Dan and the Sun God, Permaban from the park at the college. And the story has been told to me, which was probably told, I don't know, this probably happened in like the 70s or something and people did it. But anyway, anyway, that's the story of Texas State. That's the story of Texas State. I forget, oh, I forgot what I was going with this, but like people will just... Like I said, people will just do things in college, like tightrope walking or being Frisbee Dan or, or sun godding or, you know, ultimate Frisbee and uh, spike ball and all kinds of just stuff like that. Um, Because, you know, everybody's just learning their what to do. They're starting to stretch their wings out and learn how to fly. And, you know, how do you learn how to fly? Well, you fly down the field catching that ultimate frisbee for a touchdown, right? Or you spike the shit out of that ball better than anyone else. Everybody, you, maybe you set up a fucking rope and tight walk. Anyway, college. It's college. A lot of people are, like, doing other things, too. But not as many people are doing that one thing that you think everybody's doing. Not as many people are doing that. Some people are, but not as many people.